Good morning. I am here in the Hilton Hotel in Midtown, New York City. As you can tell, I'm not in the Philippines anymore. I came home on Monday. So I am here now at Broadway Con. Yay! So I will be vlogging the whole weekend starting today. So first things first, I have goodies in my baggie. Yay. Let's see what we got. So, well, we came with this little, um, there's a place for us, little ribbon, which is cute. Um, of course, the playbill for Comic Con. Not, wow, well, not Comic Con, Broadway Con. I've been saying that a lot. This is Broadway Con, it's the first one, so I'm really happy. Anyways, playbill. And there's other stuff, and the one thing I like in this one is the sticker Proud Musical Theater Nerd because that's what my channel is, Musical Theater Geek. So that will put right in my car. So, yay! Um, so, yeah, first things first today is going to be the flying solo party of one meetup because I am flying solo for this. Um, I didn't know if any friends would come with me to Broadway Con because it costs a lot. This is actually a gift for my parents from Christmas. So thank you mom and dad for this. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun, but I will meet yeah, I will meet new people probably and all people who love Broadway, just like I do. So that's great. So yeah, and this is bothering me. I don't know what that is from, maybe from my zipper or my jacket because it's really cold in the city and it's supposed to be snowing tomorrow all day. So We'll see how that goes, but I am staying in the city and not traveling back and forth home because that would be a nightmare taking the train back and forth every single day. So I can't wait. And also, since 21 and up, I have the bracelet for 21 and up. I don't know what it's for exactly, but who knows if fine drinks. So we'll see what happens, but I'm so excited. Yeah. Yay! So I'm still waiting. And yeah. But every day I plan to wear a t-shirt from a musical. Um, I only brought three because three days of the convention, so I wore three. It was really hard to I seen 26 shows and, oh no, 28 now. Yeah, 28 now. And I don't have a lot of, well I have a lot of shirts, not 28, but I have a lot of them. And it's hard to decide which three to pick. So today's is Paris equals Paris from Gigi because I try to match like with something that I can wear over it because it is it is cold in the city. Um, so that's that. Yeah. Um, but again, waiting for the flying solo meetup. I have business cards. So if anyone wants to check it out, okay. and okay. I also run an Instagram account where I make memes with like screenshots from like different shows uh, and stuff, yeah, and I just cool. try to brighten everyone's day. So mm -hmm. if anyone wants to check it out, you can just. Up it is awesome. Be sure to follow us, say hi to me, I'd love to meet literally all of you because I love Broadway! Yeah. So like, I hope all of you become best friends and become best friends with me. I just want to say that I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited. And say hi to Playbill Periscope, say hi to the Tadamount Vlog. Hi, I'm Tamina and um, I'm Melvin Kelly from Chicago. <laughs> So I made some new friends. This is Elaine, and this is Laura. Woo We're going to see Smash now! Yay! I, uh, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of. You know how you said it's okay to like both. I'm kind of a neither. I like both. 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 I
because of their ethnicity, because they were Chinese in Australia, and they only got to a certain level. You know, my mom is uh, the highest, she holds one of the highest teaching degrees in the Royal Academy of Dance. She's qualified to teach prima ballerinas, and yet she couldn't get a job dancing in the Australian Ballet Company because everybody at that time was white. So that is something that I grew up with, and I was like, you know what, it stops now in my brain as an actor trying to get a job, you know, trying to stay employed. It was never in my brain to be like, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the diversity person. Like, I, I, I was never in my mission, but I, you know, and I, now that, now that I've gone from being a student actor and having amazing teachers like Billy Porter that, that taught me, like, this is why not? Why, why can't Bobby be you? Why can't Bobby look like you in company? Why not? I mean, and then learning that lesson from a very early point in school, at a time where I felt like I was getting my formative training in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um, you know that that I I I try to approach everything that way as an actor. You know, as an actor, but now that I'm a little older and I'm also teaching students, I find that a lot of my students of color actually go, well, they're not going to want me. They're they're looking for a blonde hair, blue eyed, whatever, or they're looking for an actress that is you know so that's a certain height. They already count themselves out, and I said, wait, yeah. but you, then you've already uncast yourself, so don't bother going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is what I say to them. I said, you have to walk in the room with, why not me? And I think that's part that's part of it because frankly, and I know there's folks here that sit behind a table all the time. Oftentimes you don't know what you want until it walks in the door, right? You go, I have a, I need to cast a, an actor in this role. I, sure, maybe the playwright has an idea of what that is, maybe the producer has an idea of what that is, the director might, but nobody really knows until that person walks in the door. So this is the craziness for getting into the opening of Broadway Con. I don't know whether you're at this time, like 3 o'clock, 3.30, but here's what the craziness looks like. Thank you. 
Star Wars. <laughs> 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 Star Wars. It's not about you. It's about theater. to get involved, but we couldn't have done this without you. We've been waiting for you, the fans, and we're going to do this together. So thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Broadway comes the place for you. actually back in my hotel. Um, Broadway Con day one was amazing. I love it so much. Um, I can't wait for day two tomorrow. But again, back at my hotel room, I'm calling it an early night, kind of sleepy, still have a little bit of jet lag from the Philippines. Thought I didn't, but I actually do. So I said, let me go back and rest. And I rested and I was supposed to go back again at 9.30. They have like this jukebox thing going on. But like, I'm still kind of like, not in the mood of getting at my hotel like just resting relaxing kind of mood um so i said i'll just rest stay in don't go back anymore for now so i will just end this vlog and tomorrow will be another day for broadway con and i can't wait so there'll be more to come but yeah that's all that i saw today and like always keep being musical my 14 hours flight from New York to South Korea. <laughs>